I got some things I want to show you. Make sure I've got some loaded on the brush. I'm going to wipe it off. Hey everyone, it's Kim. How are you doing today? Um, my old house, I had decided that I had plenty of cabinets and I wanted to do something different. So I took off some cabinet doors. I took out the shelving. I painted the inside and waxed it. Bought some glass shelving and put in some lighting and kind of created a little curio, if you want to call it, in my kitchen. So with the huge bank of cabinets that I do have in this new kitchen, I decided to do the same thing. So I wasn't quite sure exactly what I wanted to do or which one I wanted to do. So I've created this video to show you how I went about that. So watch the video and see if it's something you'd like to do in your own home, okay? have been contemplating since we moved into our home to take out one set of doors. And I'm thinking I want to do this one here. It has my cookbooks in it and just some odds and ends which could be moved around and, and whatever. So let's see what this looks like with the doors open first. Okay, just trying to see if it would look silly because there's because it's the middle cabinet and the piece that I have on my countertop, the big piece, I think it may kind of help it look more like a hutch. So what I'm going to do is take the doors off and I'm just going to kind of look at it for a while and decide whether that is the cabinet I want to do. Okay, so I've got my screw gun here and I'm going to go ahead and take the door off the hinges. And then that way we can kind of look at it and decide what we think as far as this being the middle cabinet, if this is a good thing to do, okay? So let me get this off. Okay, one door. All right, so now that those are off, save my screws when I can't find them you can remind me where I put them and so we're just gonna look at this for a couple of days and decide for sure whether this is what we want to do okay, okay. Um, I've decided to go ahead and paint the inside of the cabinet I've taken out all the shelving cleaned it out and wiped it down and now I'm going to start painting with um, my chalk paint. I did mix two colors together because I didn't have what I wanted so let's see how this starts looking. Um, so far it looks like the color may be fine. I don't want it to end up being too dark. Let me see if I can get some more over here so you can see it better. This paint goes a very long way. So this one little pint should probably do everything. Hey everybody, it is now Monday and I let that dry and looked at it for a while and I think it looks okay. I did have to do some touch-ups to it, but I think once it's waxed, it's going to look great. And then when the lights get in and the glass shelving, I think it'll look really nice. So, I'm going to start um, waxing now and I am using a waxing brush. And it's a nice one that you can actually get your hand into so you don't have a big handle to be in the way of small areas. And then I'm using my Chalk Country uh, Soft Wax. And I think I've decided to do a dark brown. So when waxing, you want to load your brush 
and offload it some so that you don't have a lot. A little goes a long way with wax. So what you're gonna do is brush it on and then you're gonna remove any excess um, with a dry cloth. And I do the bag of rags and they're kind of like t-shirts, a soft material. And then we'll let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll buff it. Do not let it get too dry. I would say about three minutes or so is all you need. Um, then you can buff it off. Let me see how I think this is gonna work. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna look nice. So let me get the bottom of this done now. Just a nice back and forth motion. Go with the grain of your item. Do not go crisscross. Do not make circles and swirls because if you do, it will stay. You're not gonna be able to get it off. So let me get some of this brushed off. Get into my corners. Just a little bit up on here, so I'm gonna wipe that off. Okay, load again. And here's what I'm actually doing. I poured a little bit into a paper plate only because the jar I'm using is pretty small. I mixed it up really well because it was a, a little on the hard side. So I'm just gonna dip the brush. It's almost like stenciling if you've done that. Make sure I've got some loaded on the brush. I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit here. And then I'm also gonna wipe again here on another plate. I wanna make sure my bristles have uh, all got wax in them, but I don't want too much. This is gonna be really pretty. I'm really excited, this is really nice. Okay, just back and forth movements. Do not make circles, do not swirl, do not go out of the grain. And sometimes, I'm trying to get into the very corners here, you're gonna need to have a smaller brush to do that. And I'm gonna see how this looks, like my corners. Okay, I think that looks pretty nice. And I'll bring the camera up here to show you. Okay, I grabbed a small stencil brush that would make it easier to get into the corners. So just kind of dab in there, and then if you have too much in there, you can go ahead and kind of wipe it out. Another good thing to do would be you could go in like this, up underneath the back of your brush, and kind of sh uh, shove into that corner also to get any excess out. Okay, I'm ready to start buffing. It's been a few minutes, and it already kind of feels dry. If the rag drags when you are buffing, it's not ready to be buffed, okay? Okay, so now this is at least dry enough I can touch it. All right, so I'm just going to start by oops, getting it on, getting as close as I can in the corner. And it's going on nicely. Now you can do a single coat, let it dry, buff it, and look at it. And if it doesn't seem to be dark enough for you or not, um, not as filled in as you want it, where it's a little lighter and darker in areas, you can always go over it again. I also recommend, depending on what your project is, depends on how many coats of wax you're gonna need. If it's, say, your kitchen table, you need to protect it really well because it's gonna have everyday use. I would say you would do three or four coats of wax, letting it dry and buff in between. Um, something like this, depending on how it looks to me, I may only end up doing one coat. I buffed this side, which I told you already. I went ahead and did this other side and I buffed it. So I just trimmed out all the sides here to make sure I got all my corners and I used my little uh, uh, stencil brush to get into all those little nooks and, and just followed um, you know, I didn't do a whole lot of movement with the exception of a straight up and down or a straight across. Working on this ladder is not very comfortable. Make sure you look out for uh, little bristles or hairs in your brush coming off, okay? Yeah. Grab one, grab it quick. Because it will dry if you don't get it off. 
You can also do this with a rag, and it works very well when you're doing intricate projects, like um, inside a lot of detail, like on a dresser or a table. Do your, your uh, lines of long strokes. I just wanted to show you what I've gotten done so far. Yesterday, I put in LED strip lights, which will be at some point connected to my under cabinet lighting. I ordered my glass yesterday, picked it up today, and we will get the cabinet dressed and I will show you what it looks like. I'm probably gonna do some trim around it at some point soon, uh, but I haven't decided what I want, so. I will get back in a bit. Okay, everybody, here is what it looks like completely finished. I really, really like it. And I am going to call a friend who is a carpenter and have him come and add some molding to that. And I think it looks really awesome. What do you guys think? Very pleased. Let me back up here so you can see. And it looks very nice with my other cabinet lighting. Alexa, turn on kitchen light. Okay. So it's a pretty easy project. Anybody can do it. Uh, the strip lights are pretty easy to put in. Uh, I got very lucky that my ends of my cabinets have a a filler piece in here so I was able to do down here on the bottom and up and across all with one strip and the same for over here that one was a little tighter but I was able to do my unders come up and down and then I was able to come back through this cabinet and finish off here this one I started at the top went all the way down there was a filler on the end there behind the refrigerator, came across and down, and then I just finished underneath here. The outlet is right here. This side, the outlet is right here, so I did have to kind of uh, use some cable things to hold it back. <laughs> and then over here, also had a spot back here in the corner. These I was not able to attach to them so I did do a separate one and I haven't got my ties on there or anything but what I am probably going to do because I'm a freak about this stuff is I, I will probably paint it so you don't see it because it's in the middle of the wall so over here it worked out nice to just be able to come over to my uh, outlet for my uh, Amazon my Alexa so anyway, I hope you like this project. I hope it's something that you'll try to do yourself in your own home. Like I said, very easy. Take the cabinets off, clean it, wipe it down really good, chalk paint it, or use regular latex paint. Either one is fine. You can even use acrylic paint. Then I waxed it. I put the lights in. I ordered my glass. I put my glass in and there we have it. So thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it.